new perspective in loving so that all our efforts at loving will not go to waste. In short, we have to learn from somebody. And for Lord and Nympha, you have to take note of these perspectives in loving. And it is our Lord Jesus, the one standard in that particular regard. Lord, do you take Nympha here present for your lawful wife according to the right of her Holy Mother, the Church? Yes, I do. Do you give yourself to her as your husband? Yes, I do. Do you accept her as your lawful wife? Yes, I do. There's a big difference between falling in love and staying in love. Falling in love could happen in moments. Yung tinatawag bang kilig factor? Can't eat, can't sleep, butterflies in the stomach, a walk in the clouds. But remember, feelings come and go. You cannot rely on the certainty and the assurance that you have fallen in love. Do you take the Lord here present for your lawful husband according to the right of our Holy Mother, the Church? Yes, I do. Do you give yourself to him as his wife? Yes, I do. Do you accept him as your lawful husband? Yes, I do. You have to grow in love for each other every single day of your lives. Meaning, paningkamutan ang paghikugma kanunay. Staying in love, on the other hand, involves a decision. And that is where commitment comes in. Nga bahalag magkinaunsa, you will decide to love each other. And remember this, Ninfa, the happiest wife in the world is not the one who marries the best man in the whole world. She is always the one who makes the most out of the man she marries. And the same thing is true with you, Lord. The happiest husband in the whole world is not the one who marries the best woman in the world, but the one who makes the most out of the woman he marries.